Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? I hope you're doing well, and uh, I hope that your Wi-Fi card isn't as dead as mine is right now, because today we are going to be replacing the Wi-Fi card in my Dell Latitude E5550 with a brand new one, a new uh, AC1200 one. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do that. It's a pretty simple process, but in case you haven't done it before, and in case you've never torn one of these machines apart before, this is how you do it. Thanks for joining me. All right, everybody, so here we have our E5550. This is a Latitude. Lovely, lovely. And the wireless card has gone out on it, so I figured I'm gonna replace it anyway. Might as well show you guys what I'm doing here. This is going to be a very short video, since this is an extraordinarily simple uh, process. The lovely thing about the later latitudes, the earlier ones were total. <clears throat> but the, uh, the later ones, the let's say the 5000 series and later, um, I like working with the 7470s nowadays, but these 5500s 50, 50, are still decent. Um, the nice thing about this was most everything is available behind the back cover here. And that's going to include the drive, the RAM, the wireless card, the battery. And I think the exhaust fan as well is uh, accessible without actually having to do anything more than take this back cover off. Something that Dell did a wonderful job on for specific with the latitudes. So once you've got all those screws out, the easiest way to take this back cover off is uh, there's a little notch just behind this screw here and in front of the uh, port. So you can just get a very small flathead in there, pop that up and up and out. There we go. And then just kind of a left to right wiggle to let those uh, clips come loose very simply. Easy-ish peasy-ish. So like I said here, we have got the RAM, the drive, the battery, the fan, and our lovely little wireless card here, which needs to be replaced. So uh, we've got your antennas here, which are white and black. The nice thing is that after you pop these off, pull this card out here. So the nice thing about these is that you can see here, you got main and auxiliary, and they are white and black, and that corresponds to the cables that I just pulled out. So there's really no, no way to get confused about those. Take the new one, put it in place. So it's really just pop one out, pop the other one in. Very, very simple job. Um, the only really kind of pain in the butt part of this is getting the antennas back in place. Just because they're so tiny, and you don't want to sever those cables. So for that, I like to use uh, the widest kind of flat bit that I have. And we've got white in the back, black in the front. Uh, this is my absolute least favorite freaking thing, is getting these tiny antennas attached. But it is what it is. Uh, all right. Okay, so we're good on the black one, and we just reattach the white, which I already did. Do it again. And we are in place for both. Okay, cool. So that's, that's literally the entire job there. Um, old card out, new card in, plug the antennas back in, and uh, we'll put the back cover on and done is done. Um, this is gonna be pretty much the same for any of the uh, newer latitudes. Basically, if you take any of them apart, you're gonna get very similar results. All right, let's test it. All right, so here we have the Googles. We're just gonna Google penguin. Lovely, okay. So we have got successful uh, internet, couple of updates. And that's, that's basically it. Easy peasy.
So, like I said, it's a pretty simple process. Uh, once you do it once, you'll never need to learn how to do it again because it's take the back off, replace whatever parts you need. Beautiful thing about these uh, latitudes. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me. Even though this video was a bit shorter, I hope it was informative. Um, I hope if this is specifically what you were searching for that I helped you out. If you have any suggestions as to what machines I should take apart in the future, stick them in the comment section below. If you have any questions about this one, put it in the comment section below as well. I'm very active in these comments. Generally questions get answered within a day or two. So hit me up if you need anything. If you enjoyed this particular video or if I helped you out in any way, help me out and uh, hit that like button. If you hated everything about it and you hope my laptop bursts into flames, hit that dislike button. If you want to see more of this type of content and really any random electronics related content um, in the future, then uh, hit that sub button, the bell next to it's gonna let you know when the videos come up. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Floating head! Okay, I'm done with that.